Hi, good af- Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Good morning. Uh, here we are. Thank you so much, you guys. All of you chimed in almost as a voice in unity saying M dropped a new one with Snoop. All right, so no, I haven't listened to any Snoop. It's interesting, though, that everyone knows Snoop is like the marijuana guy living in a existence in a plane that many of us don't typically choose to live in at all times. It's kind of funny. Yes, I've seen Snoop uh, on TV, commercials, seen him, know him, uh, you know, very, very famous, but I don't think I've ever heard him spit a single bar. So this would be interesting. Eminem and Snoop Dogg. Now, I had I have to admit, I didn't know what from the D to the LBC meant. I had to look it up before I, before I hopped on here. All right, Detroit to Long Beach. Uh, of course, M in Detroit, I presume Snoop in Long Beach. Um, so we've got those different areas. So from the D to the LBC, let's give it a shot. Here check, we go. Check, check. What the fuck? Yo, why is it so smoky in here, man? <laughs> And it's funny, my camera is doing something weird. It's almost like I'm right in the booth with him. Yo, Snoop, are you blowing smoke in here? <laughs> Ain't no smoke in here. Everything is clear in here. <coughs> Yo, I can't even breathe in here. Just bit them legs, Slim. You tripping? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, look. Putting Snoop and M together. Hmm. Interesting, because M's clean, you know, it's Snoop's snooping. So, uh, all right, interesting. <laughs> he can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. It's been a minute. This probably should have happened a while ago. It's Fuck. been a minute like it's been a while. Should have happened a while ago. Is it? Or, okay, so I'm not, okay, not sure if he's uh, talking about like it's been a minute since we've been together. I'm kind of wondering if he and Snoop did something before, but here we go. Probably should have happened a while ago. Fuck it. We're here now, though. Let's go. Yeah. Man, what the fuck? Yo, Yo Snoop. Oh, Yo, let man. me see. Let me see them bugs. I can't even. <laughs> man, that's just the size of my hand, dog. That's just a memory yeah. relapse. What the fuck? That's how I know that I'm in the studio with the doggy yeah. in California. Cause my homie from Long Beach always got that. There you go, Long Beach, California. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, back up. Studio with the doggy. Yeah, with the dog. Funny, cause my homie from Long Beach always got that bomb weed. That's why I feel a calm breeze. Yeah. Every time I palm trees. Get it? Just like that blonde. Get it? Oh, each time my palm tree. California is known for the palm trees, but he's palming a tree. Oh, jeez. Okay. Look, okay, I need to make, I need to make something clear. I'm going to make something clear. I make such a big deal about the doubles when I find one because it's it's like listening to two songs at the same at the same time, two separate meanings. And when I was really like in the very beginning, Stan, you know, a lot of the different songs, um I was unaware. I was unaware of the doubles i just wasn't and then a couple of you were friend, kind enough to say oh, of course you know it's double entendre here this means this and that oh okay it's interesting then come to find out wow it's like opening up a christmas present all over again when i've gone back to listen to some of the older eminem songs that eyebrow raise is going oh good one like okay now i'm starting to kind of piece it together so i started this channel kind of like critiquing a lot of the musical abilities Let's just give him a pass on that because he's so diverse in what he he does. He's not a singer per se. I mean, yeah, he's sang, but he's he's an artist. He's to the truest form of the word. So when I get all stoked about finding a double, it's just like a, I don't know. It's like a it's become like a little game for me. It's it's just like looking for the stuff, and so. Um, it might be whenever you see me getting all jazzed about picking up on a dub, it's like it's because I'm so enamored by the depths of being able to write the way he does. 
and to be able to draw out such so many double and triple meanings it's it it's like the it's an exponential it's an exponential ability he's got to not just come up with rhyme but to come up with a rhyme that is much more in depth than what you see on the surface so that's been a really fun discovery part on my end of, of finding these so I will continue to do so. I will continue to point them out. I'm just letting you guys know. It's like I know it's probably getting old, but not to me. It ain't. It's just beautiful. Me from Long Beach, always got that bomb. We that's why I feel a calm breeze. Yeah. Every time I palm trees, get it. Just like that blonde bleach. I went platinum, then so did my albums. Calvin's turn. I went platinum. It's hair. I went platinum. I went slim. I got the platinum albums. Gosh. Let's get to look at this this image of the pot with the discs. <laughs> oh. Every time my palm tree get it, just like that blonde bleach, I went platinum, then so did my albums. Calvin's turning me into a zombie because these buds are like the Hulk, they're twice the size that his zombie. <laughs> and that is some strong green. Strong. Gotta contact my contact lenses are foggy. I might end up in Walgreens pharmacy with my arm is deep gone. I'm Phoenix with drama. Me now with tree palm. <laughs> Gosh, how does he? Man, you know, my okay, story time. My uncle gave up smoking when I forget when it was probably twenty years ago. On a New Year's New Year's Eve, he takes a hit off of a cigarette, put it in a champagne bottle, hasn't smoked since. But whenever he goes to a place like a casino or he happens to be around people that are smoking, he likes to kind of take it in like secondhand smoke. It just kind of, you know, he just likes to have that, but he doesn't like to take a hit off a cigarette. And he's hardly, he's in a retirement home. He's been there for many, many years. But it's like if he happens to be on smokers, great. He enjoys that. But he's got the willpower to not be smoking packs and packs a day. I'm kind of feeling the same thing from M here. It's like he's kind of going, hey, I feel a calm breeze, <laughs> you know. As Snoop comes in with his weed, and does what he does. Maybe M's just kind of going, you know, a little calm breeze, a little meditation time, little, you know, a little remembering, but maybe he still has that power to kind of hold back and not really dive in. Not many of us can do that. If you have a hang up about any kind of drug or alcohol or whatever, you name it, mm, you know, better off just staying clear of it so you don't fall off the wagon but it's it, it it interests me my uncle the way he's able to do that pete and m you know interesting interesting <laughs> did i hear that right He's a walking marijuana leaf. What? <laughs> what? Fucking marijuana leaf. And I'm here to stay. My ring's so definite, my longevity needs a hearing aid. What? Still wearing hangs, t shirts embodied some features with legendary names. Yeah. Was there when Dre turned the chronic to monetary gain? Cause dope is addictive, just like they call it marriage you wanna. Cause like marriage you wanna, Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Mary, Mary Juana, Mary Jane. Hmm, okay. All right. Was addictive, just like they call it marriage you wanna. Cause like marriage you wanna, Mary Jane. Mary, do you wanna? You wanna marry Jane? Be married, Jane? It's like you and Spider Man feel the very same. My adversaries came, but these little degenerates are my lineage. When it comes to pockets, weren't many, if any, as skinny as mine, bitch. I was penniless, now I'm plenty rich, and the shit don't make any I was penniless, and now I'm penny rich.
Hmm. I get to work many if any is skinny as mine, bitch. I was penniless, now I'm plenty rich, and the shit don't make any sense. I was in a motherfucking pinch, like a titty twist. Now I'm sitting as pretty as each penny is while I'm pinning this. Yes, I heard it. Send a lab on your guinea pigs. I ain't finna fool them in effect. Give me the simming you when I pull the big guns out. That trigger pull it until the motherfucking shit runs out. A bullet, somebody better call an ambulance. You will live, it'll be miraculous. I got more hits than a contract killer. Oh, it's awesome. I've got more hits than a contract killer. Look. He's not ashamed of his success, let me tell you. He lets you know it. He is not finished. He is at the top of his game. He is the best that's ever been. Everyone has said it. I tend to believe it. Of course, I'm a rook. I'm a boomer. What do I know about rap? What do I know about hip-hop? Hip -hop? What do I know? Practically nothing. But what I do know, I know talent when I see it. You know, you come at me juggling 62 tennis balls, I'll recognize you've got some balls. Feathers that don't got antennas are the words that I've got no goddamn fillers. Westmore, you did not plan for this. From Detroit all the way to Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken you reside in 213. Let's see that gun. LA 213. Then you reside on west side up in 313. Let's see them guns. 313. You make money like the Matrix. Make more my motivation. Roll up more money. Okay, here we go. Now, all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You make money moves like the Matrix. Make more my motivation. Roll up more meditation. You're watching the moves you make. You might want to stick to the basics. Military minds they locked in cocktail. Make sure the mission is profitable. Ain't no mission impossible. Ball. Interesting. Not what I expected. Softer voice. More held back um yeah kind of liking his i'm liking his his voice just totally chill stick to the base military mind stay locked in cocktail make sure the mission is profitable ain't no mission impossible ball. one phone call and my monster go dumb phones hop in the mind say go fuck that y'all stay nigga i'm finna go you think you should slay boy this crypt you ain't ready to take it where i'm finna go mafia rules you making the mockery me Mm. He's so subtle and he's so more like refrain from him that the beat is definitely drowning out some of his lyrics. So I'm going to definitely have to I'm going to have to go in. I'm going to have to go get the lyrics and throw them down and, and take a look and see what he's saying here. Because I'm having a hard time picking up more of what he's saying here. You think you should slay, boy, this crypt, you ain't ready to take it where I'm finna go Mafia roots, you making a mockery, me a monopoly, speak on my flow My nigga, I'm off and slap on my flow, now niggas is copying Niggas be out with the wall for the stop and give me a task, I conquer it This ain't the time for pondering You niggas is slandering, this real shit, niggas be honoring You looking for followers and not watching my niggas that's following Nigga, fuck them likes, I'm yelling like, what, my nigga, young problem He's side, he's side, nigga, Eminem woke to be side Let y'all ride now, nigga, won't it back like a lease Darn it, I'm, I'm missing, I'm just, ah, I'm missing too much I'm hearing enough, but I'm I'm missing too much to really throw down a true understanding. But another story time. My uncle um, Gerhard from Germany comes down. Um, he and his wife. We come down. My mother. This is back when I was younger. Younger. We're driving to Vegas, bringing them along. They're all talking. I'm a I'm a German speaking hack. I just am I I just understand German better than I can speak it. And so but I'm and I'm and I'm kind of a hack even when it comes to understanding it. But we were driving through the through the desert and then he comes we come across a train and he starts talking about model trains of when he was younger, he'd put model trains together. And all of a sudden, like he's talking about this vocabulary surrounding that. And he could have been speaking Chinese, Greek. Uh, he, he, I, all of a sudden, I didn't understand almost a word he was saying, but catching enough in between to kind of understand some of the things that he was saying. But I was lost. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. I'm having that kind of here where it's like, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm hearing some, ooh, yeah, I can hear what he's saying. But darn it, I'm missing enough to where it's 
it's getting me. I'm going to look at the lyrics. I'm watching my niggas that's following. Nigga, fuck them likes. I'm yelling like, what? My nigga, young problem. He's up, he's up, nigga. Eminem woke to be up. Let y'all ride now, nigga. Won't it back like a Lisa. Think it's the game, you gon' see some. Ain't no peace, you'll be missing a piece of. Nigga, pop tough, now she's on the mom, all mad. Kids all saying, damn, my bad. Send a few points to the corner. Please make a sweep for him, nigga. I don't hop on tracks. I'll leap on him in the field with the cleats on. Steve Jab, but he got him his mind. In due time, niggas knew me, man. Sure, ignore, go find him the minute sign. If you're looking for the facts, I'm a nigga to find. Young niggas so cracking him. <clears throat> okay. The back, you're hearing some background uh, cover there. Um, and there were the, you know, just a, kind of a really kind of a trippy kind of background. This, the music really kind of goes really well with their visuals that you've got going on here. But listen to some of the, uh, some of the vocaling in the background there. It just the way it's kind of adding to it for him. But at the same time, it's like, man, if they just, Boosted the gain on him just a little bit so I can hear it a little better. But again, I've got old ears, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just probably, just, just probably me. In due time, Nick's newbie, my sure ignore, go find him the minute sign. If you're looking for the facts, I'm a nigga to find. Young nigga so crack in the middle of the In the face of this crimping, Long Beach DC is different. Oh man, with the put on, still getting bread with the niggas I put on. Yeah, yeah, I put my hood on. Shit got cold, I put my hood on. Yeah, yeah. Marshall and Calvin, both from the gutters like Papa Lecal. Marshall and Calvin. Does he, well, again, Calvin, is that is that another word for Snoop? Does he go by Calvin? I don't know. I I don't know. I know a lot of you are just laughing at me right now. I'm going, oh my gosh, look at you. But I don't know. I just don't know. I cold, I put my hood on. Yeah, yeah. Marshall and Calvin, both from the... Marshall and Calvin. Got us like public cows and now we're performing for hundreds of thousands. We're no and now we're performing in front of hundreds of thousands. Make up, we still be climbing. We're still climbing. If you decide to go free to see that blood race Whether you decide or what side of the 313 that's eating blood race And it's interesting, it's interesting because that's one of the things that I never really wanted to dive into was the whole east-west dynamic um, of what was happening, the turf wars and all this kind of stuff. And now it's like they're both, they're both, you know, you got eight mile here on this on this pause, and you got Long Beach, you know, and they're both together doing their thing. I like that. My Detroit niggas first, everybody. My Long Beach niggas first, everybody. My Detroit niggas lead with a body. My Long Beach niggas shoot up the party. Yeah, this is not that stunt weed they give you on a movie set. This is that eh, that thing that killed John Wayne. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> How much more do we got here? He loves comic strips and he is duper in one here. This is pretty cool. I love the visuals. And those background vocals that were there were just really cool. Hmm. Oh man, I do like the sound of the song. This is a good one. This is going on my on my playlist. I've just got to know more. Detroit unit. Nice. All right. Snoop. Snoop. Okay. I need more. I need to learn more about this this man. Um, look, man, <sighs> look, I know some of you have told me in the comments that you wish you had a dad that would be willing to listen to, to some of the music and I understand, you know, a lot of the language and stuff like that. It's, you know, some people are very offended by language. Um, some of them, some people just don't like, you know, the whole drug scene and that kind of stuff, but there is a, there's good content out there. There's great content out there. Look, um, man, I'm sorry that some of you can't get your parents to dive in. I was there. I was one of those parents. I really was. Um, really glad that I kind of dove in just in time, you know, to just listen to some of this incredible stuff. So thanks again for giving me a heads up on this one. Gonna have to dig a little deeper into Snoop's Snoop's role on this song. I I was missing too much of it, um, but I like 
I like his vocals. I like I like his style. Definitely. Definitely. Thanks, you guys. Have a good night. We'll see you next time. Take care.